Hello guys, uh, this is uh, Saman. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to exploit SSH using Shellshock vulnerability. Well, I won't be covering the basics of Shellshock environment variables, but we'll cover these uh, two points. Uh, one will be how to set up a uh, user with post command option, and uh, of course, uh, with the authorized uh, keys. And uh, secondly, we'll be covering how to bypass uh, authenticated users' host command limit and execute arbitrary commands on the server. Well, the host command allows the server admin to uh, let any user connect uh, using SSH, but can limit the commands to be executed by the user. And also, please note that SSH exploitation using uh, Shellshock vulnerability uh, has a very little scope. So. Uh, <coughs> When the user connects to the server uh, using SSH, the specified command or a set of command is executed uh, if we are using the shell shock, uh, uh, if we are using a force command option. <coughs> so uh, let me just first connect to uh, my uh, server. Uh, I'll be just connecting it to using my root uh, account. <coughs> so uh, also, uh, here uh, I'm here. <coughs> so I'll uh, just uh, quickly uh, create a user hacker uh, with its directory uh, and the home uh, hacker, and I'll be allotting him and the bash uh, shell. Of course, just to demonstrate the vulnerability. <coughs> here, a uh, hacker. Uh, oops, I. Yeah, I did something wrong over here. Okay, uh, I think I misspelled uh, the user right command. Anyways, <coughs> uh, so uh, let's now create uh, an actual uh, home directory for uh, our hacker user, and let's set the owner of its home directory to you know this home directory to hacker. <coughs> yeah. Okay. So. Uh, now let's make uh, another uh, directory under home uh, slash uh, hacker for uh, storing our uh, authorized keys file that is dot ssh and, and so <coughs> uh, we'll be creating uh, for this uh, you know that um, the server needs to verify uh, a user uh, before it connects and to verify uh, the user uh, the server needs to know the user's public key so i've already generated a public key it's over here on uh, the desktop uh, of uh, you can see uh, the hacker.pub file <coughs> yeah so uh let's quickly uh, copy uh, the contents of uh, hacker.pub that is our uh, user's public key to the authorized key file so that the of course so that the server can uh, verify it uh, and the, uh, you know the user gets authorized or authenticated <coughs> oops again Okay, let me just do it. So, uh, you can uh, just move to the directory and I'll show you the, the file, uh, authorized key file over there. Yeah, so this is our file and we can see our key is inside it, or basically our user's key is inside it. So uh, now uh, to set a particular command to be executed when the user connects, we can use command variable, and we need to add it in uh, this in, along with this uh, user's key. So in this case, I'll be adding a command uh, and which will ping the uh, Google.com twice. <coughs> so uh, this is uh, the final uh, key along with the command. So our setup is done here and we will move to the second part of this video. So uh, yeah, this is basically our victims PC. Oh, um, my bad. Uh, <coughs> this is an attacker's PC of course. And 
So now let's see uh, and try to connect uh, to the server using uh, hacker uh, our really local user. Okay, so we can see uh, the ping command get executed because the post command option was used and command option was used basically to do this. Now let's go on uh, adding some of our you know, uh, extra bash shell function and our own command to be executed. Uh, in this case, I'll be using uh, cat uh, slash etc slash password uh, command. Of course, I won't be explaining all of uh, these things. I assume that you already know about it. What uh, this thing means. So we can see uh, the uh, command got executed, and yeah, we can definitely see uh, the username uh, pop the file. Let's try adding uh, some another command again. Uh, <coughs> adding one got executed, but since uh, it's not root user, there might be some command that cannot get executed. For example, using a uh, you know, getting a shadow file. <coughs> so, uh, limited scope files. Anyways, thank you for like uh, watching my video. I hope you like it. Thank you.